Genesis chapter 27, verses 34, 36, and 41. As soon as Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me even me also, O my father. Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has cheated me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Now Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him. And Esau said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are approaching. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Esau was livid. Esau was angry. He was mad. He was raging. Bitterness had already taken root. For how could Jacob have done such a horrible thing to him? He said, Jacob has cheated me these two times. But really, Esau, did Jacob really cheat you? I find it interesting that Esau took no responsibility for his actions. Jacob did not cheat him. He sold his birthright to Jacob for a measly bowl of stew to satisfy his desires and feelings in the moment. So how is it that he is now claiming that Jacob cheated him? Jacob did not force him. Jacob did not put a gun or a knife or a sword to his head or neck. Jacob offered him the bowl of stew for a price. And he willingly paid the price because in the moment it seemed like, what's the big deal? Well, having made his decision, shouldn't he now take responsibility for the consequences that flow from that decision? And then he said that Jacob cheated him these two times. So he cheated him when he, he, Esau, willingly sold him the birthright. And he cheated him now when he went in and received the blessing. But is it that Esau did not expect that his actions would have any lasting effect or impact? It's interesting to note how his hatred and anger is directed at someone else. It's directed at Jacob rather than the real cause of his issue, which was his lack of self-control, his lack of reverence, his lack of value of the greater and important things. It's interesting how it is that now he wants what he despised earlier. In the moment, it was of no value. But now he wants it so badly that he is weeping for it and angry and bitter about it. Well, let us learn from Esau. Let us remember that our actions carry consequences. And the consequences that flow from our actions are ours to enjoy or to bear. Let us remember that when we find ourselves in tough, tight, unbearable, uncomfortable positions, the first place we should look is in ourselves. Because usually, most times, 
the cause lies within us. The answer lies within us. Let us remember, choice is a blessed gift that comes with the price of responsibility. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.